video? Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am. How y'all doing once again? These are your two favorite podcast people in the world. E and D. And we back with another Dots View podcast, a.k.a. Us Nerdies with Intelligence. Now today, y'all, we just gonna get down to some, some good nitty gritty. Some current events. Talk about how basically the pandemic has been tearing everybody up, front, back, side to side, and all over. So, so this is our pandemic podcast. Pandemic podcast tonight. We just basically gonna be talking about what's going on with everything, how people are feeling nowadays, um, how we feel about these crazy congressmen and Democrats, Republicans fighting over whatever they fighting over and not giving not, us people anything and putting okay. us in holes and all that. So Tough stuff. Yeah, we talking about tough stuff, a little bit of tough stuff tonight. So we want y'all to be cool. Hit that subscribe button. Share it with a friend. If they like it, you like it. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment. Let us know what y'all been going through during this pandemic. You know what I'm saying? We'll remind y'all later, but we want to know from y'all too. So, E, he got a nice amount of points written down tonight. So we are going to take the cues from Maestro E tonight. Wow. He gonna be reading off the the, uh, talking points. He's gonna give me the lead. Awesome. And and we gonna be going off that. So what's the first one we gonna go on? The first damn thing I wanna do is shed this flipping mask. Was just to let you know it was the pandemic podcast pandemic so essentially Hi. it's you know cause effect and how we're all coping with it you know yeah. what i mean trying to mm-hmm. get through it trying to keep our chins up trying to keep our heads up trying to keep our damn jobs yeah of which uh i'm on the unemployment line how about you d same place here all right this is my job right now yeah mine too so all right so the first one i see over here is like you said the cause and effects cause people Cause pandemic happened. No, cause we love you. But yeah. go ahead, Dion. That's it. I like that too. Cause we love y'all. Plus, cause this damn coronavirus affected everybody's jobs. Now, you have me and my homeboy sitting up here waiting with our hands tied behind our back because we're in the tourism industry. So we're yeah. kind of waiting for a cue from whoever to come and basically let us know what's going on and we're coming at you from orlando so tourism industry is it and, yeah and boy we're affected big time yeah so and everybody i know y'all out there are affected all in all your different ways as well yeah you want to come so, in want to go out but you can't do it um even though on the latter end flights is cheap and all that stuff that that still don't account for it. everybody that's losing out and not being able to go because financial circumstances or uh, health reasons or just something like that. It's been a lot of clutter that's been dropped on people's heads during this whole pandemic. And uh, a lot of people taking it, um, you know what I'm saying, with a, with a grain of salt. Um, and some people, it's hitting like a ton of bricks. So, you know, we just basically want to know, what, once again, we want to know how y'all have been hoping and going through this thing. So... Well, we're going to also it. let you know how we got affected. And again, still yeah. try to have some fun. A little bit of fun. Uh, off a subject that is a little bit tough to be fun about right now. But still, I don't know. I think there's some funniness to be found. Yeah. We'll find it, hopefully. Yeah. It's comedy <laughs> It's comedy and everything. You know what I'm saying? It's triumph and tragedy. And it's comedy and conflict. So we'll find uh, a silver lining somewhere. So just with the cause and effect on the cause and effects is how some people are mentally breaking down because it's hitting them are um, mentally. I can attest to that one, Dion. Yeah, um, not only you, not only my boy right here, but um, it hit me like in the earlier stages, but I kind of know how to cope with it like a little bit right now. But in the earlier stages, yeah, I was, it threw me off a little bit. But if you keep um, a clear mind and you kind of feel out what's going on, you can basically dodge the raindrops um, per se basically skipping over all of the stuff that you don't need <laughs> to hit in order to get caught up in the pan- uh, in the whole pandemic right now. Um, once again, you got people on both sides of the fence when it comes to masks. You got people on both sides of the fence. Uh, fence, I said fence. The um, 
I, I didn't get I, I didn't get served in a fast food restaurant yesterday because I didn't have my mask with me. I see. Very interesting. What if you the been, world out there is different, man? What if you'd have been diabetic and you actually needed that food, but you forgot your mask because your diabetes caused it? Interesting. Now you you know what I'm saying. So it's interesting point. It's um it's pros and cons to all of this. You know, you're saving yourself, but you know you're diabetic and you couldn't get no food because you know stuff like that happens. You know it's it's situations like that. I'm not saying that's for everyone, but it's situations like that. And that's what we're saying right now. What me and E saying is that we know, like, everybody is not strong enough to, to go through what's been happening right now. It's um, just optimism out of the whole thing. I don't think it's going to be going on too much longer, but... I hope and pray not. Yeah. And on that end, I'm not going to put a, a time limit on it because I'm not a scientist and... I have not done enough research <clears throat> about, you know what I'm saying, the big C and all of that. So I'm not finna just give y'all no scientific um, hypothesis of what I think I can hypotheses. do. Hypotheses. Yeah, hypotheses. Hypothesis. I thought I was going to say Hypothesis. Yeah, I thought I was going to hypothesis. I sound like a snake. But no, you know what I'm saying? Um, for the vaccines and all that, so I'm not finna try to get nobody no false hope uh, or spit out no conspiracy theories about vaccines and microchips and all that other stuff. We got enough going on right and now. He's talking all sensibly and responsibly, and you know me. Do we go off the rails, D? Off the rails. Oh, my God. I've been going off the rails on Facebook, man, because I'm just bored. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just I getting, inside, Twitter, like. getting inside my head, and I'll tell you what, I... I look at. I thank you everybody for all your comments back. You've been having fun with me, but Lord knows I've been putting up some, some wacky, some stuff. interestingly <laughs> questionable stuff. You know what That's I mean? Really nothing going, nothing home. going off the deep end or anything like that. That's but good. it's enough to probably have close friends and family say, "What's going on?" I'm a little concerned about that cat. Oh, you know what I mean? Know. So I gotta get my, I gotta come back to grips, and that's that's the effect on me. I was going all right at first, but you know things are starting to get, heavy. you know, down to the nitty gritty, and you know gotta uh, decisions got to be made, and and things got to start happening because it's really tough to be stagnant, especially if you're a dude like me. Dion and I were talking about that earlier, and yeah. him as well. A lot of energy. You know, it's it's pretty tough to be stagnant. Yeah, man. You know, but see, Dion deals with it better than me. I. I'll, I'll have a few good days and things like that, but then all of a sudden, yeah, it's, it's off the wind. rails like a nut job and Same like here. whatever else. So, Dion came back today to hone me back in, to put his arm around me and say, "Brother, I know you're struggling. Let's get the deck together and do a podcast about yeah. it." Let's do, yeah, let's talk about it. Cause that's the best way to work some of this, most of this stuff out. Is just let's talk about it. Just you know, we feeling a little angsty and we want to go back to work and provide for our people, ourselves and what we doing with our lives but we also don't want to be a burden on the government because you know if you're a burden on the government they're going to be a burden back i've never collected unemployment in my life i've been working since i've been 14 yeah. i've never collected unemployment in my either, life man. before now never i've never it's ever. scary 39 39 years i've been able to hustle and work myself and not have to depend on right. too much from the government at all any any little nutty glitch could happen with the government too Anything. oh gee the computer did a little hiccup your sorry name. sorry you didn't get paid this week yep your name is you got the wrong letter in your name and now on the phone for like three hours or something like that trying to get it all straightened out yeah you know and these people got a hold that's of your tough. future that's tough stuff yeah and these people got a hold of your any wrong word I can't. people can snap your future away like Thanos yeah. or some shit when when it gets loaded on my card and I see the checks, then I do breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief. Yeah. However, it's just that not knowing how you know. But when you're working, yes, uh, you know if you if you've done your forty or if you've paid every two weeks and done your eighty, you know you know you got your check coming. Your check coming. But this mess and yeah, the whole government sure. the government involvement and. Yeah. Whatever we don't like to get too political and we don't like yeah. to get crazy like that. But I mean, it is it is it is, it is, it is yeah. so we don't want to get into it. But the politicians are absolutely driving driving everybody fucking nuts right now. Yeah, man, they 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 not so, work, they not working with each other to help us work with each no. other. Like it's it's more division than it is unity right now within they because they all well off right now. Coupled with the fact that. We're inside of two months away from an election yeah, where so, all these people are doing is throwing barbs. Yeah, yeah. They, this um, one lobs a bomb yeah, over here. This one lobs a bomb back there. Boom. And then you got 
then the survivors got to come on, and then they got knives, and they trying to cut each other. Right, they right. trying to cut each other up, right? You know, survivors. So you got to figure out where you gonna be on that whole little side of the fence. And like, like, like he was saying earlier, we got these people that's we're not stagnant, but we have other people that are stagnant, which in turn makes us have to be stagnant because. You know what? I'll tell you what, that's going to have to be the word of the day because I've said it on a few occasions already and Dion just spouted it out right there. Stagnant. That seems to be the word Stagnant. of the day, man. I like that word. It, it means, I don't like that word. Yeah, no. I, but I we're like saying the, it an awful lot. I like you know? it. I like it, the phrasing of it, though. Yeah. I like it in this in this setting right now. Yeah. It's the perfect word to use. Yeah, yeah. Anything else is just uncivilized. This, that stagnant is... Wasn't that a commercial years ago? Yeah. Anything and it, else it was, it was uncivilized. I forget what that was for. Was it, it a shaver be. or something? Yeah, it was like a shaver. Then they, a shaving cream? I don't know. Then they like spun it off to like all type of stuff, which is cool, though. Yeah. It's uncivilized. But yeah, um, the cause and effects... Back to the pandemic. Yeah, like the cause we, we and effects... We went off on some pandemic. razor commercial shit and what, I don't know. We got you gotta do something now, Dion. Yeah, go Dion, I haven't heard you but, sing yet. Sing something. We might. We gonna you know, sing. Well, I'm gonna sing the next. Me, I'm yeah. gonna sing the next talking point. Politics. Shoot, we were we were just there. Mm-hmm. So we gonna. Uh, I don't know how much we want to really elaborate bring, on that. That's what we are gonna do. We you gonna. Know what I mean? We gonna bring that back because that was one of the talking points we slipped into. We segued into <laughs> it. Um, politics. Y'all know the politics bit. We got two sides warring, and we're the only. We basically the only one catching the ammunition because the two sides is warring and throwing it. They're not throwing barbs in the bombs at uh, each other. They just tossing them our way. And they just taking out all of the people that are fighting against them. And they just like, yo, we taking out your people. Or we taking out your people. And literally they're not, it's not two sides. It's only one side. And that's us people that don't get as much money as these political figures or boy. You know, uh, just people with money in general. You're getting very political, Dion. Oh no, I, yeah, that's why. That's why I just no, said that. Okay. I, I ended like that. I'm just saying this. Political people, stop playing with us, <laughs> right? Stop playing with us, man. Well, we need at to. least, at, at least, just on a serious note, these yeah. these clowns are back in session because they're they're off for their whole fucking month vacation. That's insane to me during this time. But again, we won't stick on that because that'll yeah. bring us down, yes. folks. And you know what I mean? Cool down. So, you know, not to change the subject too much, uh, Dion, or derail the podcast here, but yeah. this is something I wrote down, you know, because it was a, it was, I thought it was a, a valid question. Okay. Well, can, can fat women wear skinny jeans? Yes. But is it a During good a idea? pandemic? Yes. But is it a good idea? Put them to wear them skinny jeans. Not, not body shame. You know they got the they got the hardcore camel tosis, right? Gee, I'm talking about as far as uh, health. I'm sorry, that was pretty bad. Right not there. even health wise. I'm talking about like uh, comfortability wise. Why would you want to? I can't. I don't like the skinny jeans because they are they look. If you're skinny, if you're skinny, wear skinny jeans. Yeah, if you're not skinny like me, I'm I'm like 200 pounds. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Me put on, and put on your jeans, put on your house dress. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah if it's a if, if house dress, put on a put on some form fitting, but don't get a pair of jeans that is as skinny as his butt like that's bottle. that's that's hugging your cankles. Yeah, and <laughs> you know what I'm saying, all the way down to the cankles, man. You know what I'm saying? Have that shit, man. You remember you remember uh, bell bottoms. That's where we need to go back. Yeah, to. go back. You to gotta hide them damn cankles, man. Yeah, because shit, I, I'm not an ankle man. I got, I had, I got cankles you look myself. Like, you look like I, I looked down at your ankle and I thought it was like an extra titty. Yeah, I'm you like, know what, what the hell is that? I got a titty on my foot. You what? Know what I'm saying? But no, we we love you, big. We love you, big women. All day, every day. My mom is big. Oh woman. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't and, say I didn't love them, but oh, I was yeah. just. A, it was only the, a mere question, you know. Can they wear them? And we know they do. We, that's okay. But that's, we love your cankles. At least we can ask y'all something in the pandemic. Please don't get mad at us. We, we didn't mean it. We didn't mean it. You know what? This pandemic is so bad. This whole pandemic has cankles. Yeah. Seriously, It man. do. It had cankles. This is the fattest pandemic with cankles <laughs> ever with two big saggy boobs. 2020 is a super drunk person that stumbled into Stop talking about store. me, Dion. It's like a, you know, it's like a super drunk person that stumbled into an open alcohol store. Uh-oh. And it said, free anything you want. And he just got drunk. Oh, shit. And now he's tearing up the whole store. That's nice. what 2020 is. 2020 is... Uh, uh, somebody who's a family wedding drinks way too much and halfway ruined the wedding. No. Uh, somebody who they ruined the entire wedding 
That's what 2020 is. The unwanted wedding guest. Uh oh. 2020. Fuck you. <laughs> the guest that just wouldn't leave. Yes, man. That's the 2020 man. It's just, like you wish he, you wish he or she was the first one, but somehow they end up being the last one. Yeah, some good things came out of 2020, and I tell y'all about them at the end of the Do year. Do tell. You know what I'm saying? But I, we gonna say that for a whole nother show. All right. But it's some good things that happened in this year, but it was they were minuscule. But compared to minuscule, what's been minuscule, but what thing compared to what's been going on right now? Yeah. We ain't need it's is a lot. It's about ninety five percent horrible, five percent decent. So I guess with that we go. What's the next one? You know what the other? Yeah, we were about to segue into some. You know, I just yeah. had another general question, but this goes really back to the pandemic right here. Yeah, and it's kind of funny, but it's not so funny if you are one. Oh. But boy, oh boy, isn't this a bad time to be a germaphobe? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You're running around your house. You run. You're the ones buying up all the bleach out the damn grocery store and like stuff like that. Dude, scrubbing down every five minutes. Every five. They, they Holy the ones, cow! Germophobia. They the ones rubbing it. Rubbing the. the oh my god! They they got like uh, hand sanitizer like clamps for mm-hmm. the damn belt loop and stuff like that. And after every little thing. Mm-hmm. Just, uh, uh, uh. This is a horrible time for them, even including a, uh, a germ that can actually Holy. destroy you. They are probably on super edge right now. Oh my god! I bet you they—they're they like they're like they're, they're getting agoraphobia. They're they're getting afraid to leave the house. You know yep. what I'm saying? Agoraphobia. That's why I'm seeing all these Uber Eats and all this other stuff. People aren't even going out of their house. Yeah. That, not even for McDonald's. I mean, yeah. You could have somebody bring you McDonald's right now. Hey, I want a damn Big Mac, and you can have Uber Eats here in a second. You know? Right here in a couple of seconds. You McDonald's, Burger King, KFC. Like everybody then turned to mobile. You don't say mobile dining. Man, seriously. I don't think that's one of the things that is probably gonna stick after this pandemic leaves. It's probably they probably gonna still advertise and still have that as an option because there's going to be uh, plenty of people that are still going to be skeptical for a certain amount of time. For a long time. That's so, uh, that's 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 the other thing to talk mm-hmm. about there is like the the the, the long term repercussions of this. The, yeah, the, the, after, whole, the whole change of lifestyle and mentality is interesting. Yeah. It's, so it's gonna take a it's gonna take a long time to Get come back. to any semblance of normalcy. I believe I you know me too. I don't know. It all starts with just getting back to work and you know letting our scientists do the things they need to do and hopefully they come up with something and we can get rid of this mess is all. Yeah. But bad time to be a germaphobe. That's for damn sure. Super bad time to be a germaphobe. Yeah, they're them type of people that even when you're outside walking, you know, like on the sidewalk, and they're coming the other way, they're still gonna they're gonna go like around you like twenty feet. Yeah, like thirty. And even <laughs> and even at that, wash their hands right when they yeah. pass you. They you know, they might even they might even tell you to put some sanitizer on your hands. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! You look oh like you might have touched me. Put sanitizer in your Oh, hand. man. Like, I'm 30 feet away from you. Here, you go. Here, you, go. Here you go, sir. You you need this. Yeah, you need, yeah, you going to come off. Go. Like, you could have stayed over you across the street. Sit. If anybody comes and arbitrarily squeezes me with sanitizer, mm-hmm. I'm going to look at them like they done lost their fucking mind. I'm muffing them. I'm straight muffing them. Like, you come you know what? Dion has this saying that's like the funniest saying in the whole world to me. He's like, I don't know. He's like, I, I, I slapped the makeup off that bitch. And I was I like, what did you just say? Yeah, there yeah. you go. I'll, sm- I'll slap the makeup yeah. off that motherfucker. Yeah, not, wow. not women. Not, I mean, not talking yeah, about Yeah, no, no, no. I'm talking about the, you know how some people go on television and they get all that makeup put on their face? It was a certain person that was on television and that person was saying something real stupid and I was like, I could see the makeup on his face. I was uh-huh. like, you know what? If I was there in front of him right now, I would smack the makeup off that bitch. I was like, oh, yeah. literally, I was smacking. That's like one of the funniest there. sayings I've heard and in a while. That was that was just me saying like, I literally, not literally, smacked the person, but figuratively and with words. And nothing like that open hand yeah. smack to, no, to, to none call, of that. To, nothing like that open hand smack to call you yeah. a bitch. Yeah, none <laughs> of that. Yeah, not that. It's figuratively speaking. No, I'm saying that sounded funny to me. I yeah, mean, I'm talking if you hit a dude, if it's justified or something like that. Yeah, nothing like that open hand smack. Yeah, I, to, no violence. I just called you a bitch. Yeah, like <laughs> sorry, open hand. sorry about that, bitch. You know that one, that one slap, like the surprise one. Like I probably deserved yeah. to be slapped recently, to be quite honest with you. I, I've been, I've been slapped a few times, like by by women. It's, it's surprising because basically make it, it makes the kinetic energy in your face for me. <laughs> You know, so well. I'll tell you what. That duct tape that you know we sometimes have to use for me. 
I tell you what, when you tear that stuff off your mouth, you know it. Yeah. It's a sensation. It it's like a cooling pores. sensation. Because um, it, it's, it's weird. Open up your pores. I guess. All the air rushing. I guess. See, that's why you feel the cold. But that shit is sticky, man. And, and D shit. did it in slow motion, so you saw my lips come. <laughs> Get all crazy. That was crazy. You bitch, yeah, yeah. If you're a germaphobe, we sorry, yeah, yeah. we sorry for you if you're a germaphobe. Yeah. Yeah, like and that's 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 what goes back to coping. Yeah, like yeah. like we said, cause, you know, pandemic, yeah. cause, effects, and coping. Now you gotta cope. You know what I mean? Because everybody next. everybody who's in different mentalities or different spaces. Places and spaces mm -hmm. and stuff like that are taking it all differently. I mean, hell. And that's the next one. I mean, front line what? What's the next one? Turkey oh. bacon? I don't no, no, have turkey bacon. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, yeah, that's great. No, I'm saying you. Yeah, well, yeah. All I wanted to all I wanted to say was fuck turkey bacon. Okay, take it away, Dion. Yeah, that's, that's all. Cool. No, that was like one of those derails. I like what you were saying about coping. Like that, that was saying that was the our segue, our segue basically into the the wrap up. It was the coping with it. Like we didn't we didn't tell yeah, y'all yeah, what yeah, we've yeah, been yeah. through. We asking you what you've been through so we can bounce ideas off Boy. and let you know what we've been seeing out here. We also been letting you know how we think people been feeling and how we know people been feeling because we got friends and family that tell us and how they feel. Ultimately coping. Yeah, and they and the the end result of everything that people are saying right now is we still gotta live. We just we just living day to day until it's over with. Basically we're coping. We're coping with it. We have to learn to adjust. That's what the, that's the what financial, good the final for. the financial situation brings some stress. Yes. And that's but again, always, that's, an, that's another coping, and yeah. you know that being stagnant. And I told you about me. I said, you know, I'll keep it cool for like a few days, but then I get all cooped up, and then all of a sudden make a dumb decision. You know what I mean? Yeah, because you, you, when you're sitting up here stagnant, you ain't got nothing to do. You yeah. want you want to create something for yeah. yourself. You know, when you don't have fun, you want to create your own fun. Some people create it this way. Some people create it that way. Some people create it many ways. But you know, you, you know that funny look that you said Norm Macdonald always gives. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? After he says something yeah, silly and crazy, something he crazy. just wants to see your reaction. Yeah, he's just looking at you like what? But yeah, oh. it, it's like that. Me too. I I I can do a lot better at saving and, and trying to build a little something more too. But me, like like he said, when I get stagnant, I I have a little bit more um, avenue, a little bit more avenues i can go down like i'm a video gamer and yeah i do videos and stuff like that so i can keep my attention um focused in on something but if you just out here and you just enjoying your day and you was a person that usually went to work and you came home from work enjoy like a, a beer a nice joint or something you kicked it with friends and family and all of a sudden that got stopped halted and now you have to struggle mm -hmm. to figure out if you're going to even be able to come to the same house that you was just enjoying all of that other, the other festivities that I aforementioned in. So stress going along with all that. But all in all, people been finding ways to cope with it. So we, if you are, I got to do a better job. I got to tell you that. I don't want to. I don't want to get too much on that. But I know I got to do a better job. That's for sure. Yeah, I got. I have to uh, come together and if I can, because me, I'm not having a whole bunch when I was younger I still got that itch to just now that I can get some things I'm I'm want to care and get them but I can't because that's not what the situation calls for so I gotta sit on my hands while I'm still <laughs> sitting on my it's a confusing and very very aggravating progress and at the end process. of the day thank god at least we're not germaphobes too yeah if we ain't germaphobes you know what I mean? yeah and at least we ain't like my goodness shout mean, outs to the germaphobes man there that's got to be tough days for the germaphobes yeah at least we ain't you know? like a, like freaking super druggies and nothing like that where we got to be out here every single day looking for something then now that that's kind of crazy too and if you out here without nothing at least we ain't one of the folks out here like without anything at least we have something to start off with and we got something to build on so if people that don't have that much if you got something just know you got something build on that now a lot of people don't have there's a gang of people out here that's going through this pandemic with zero so the little bit i do got i'm appreciative for it i want to hold on to it that's why we saying people that are running the money, you know, help help a brothers, help some brothers out here. You 
We need that. Like, Absolutely, man. We need that straight up. We not, you know, yeah, yeah. we want to keep doing what we doing. But yes. You can't do that if we are mentally and physically unable. Well, and, and again, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier in the podcast or it was what we talked about before, but I, I've, I've posted up in my stagnation. Yeah. Stagnation. You know what I mean? I've, I've been kind of uh, blowing up my Facebook with some, like I said, some pretty interesting yeah. Pretty interesting <laughs> thoughts going through my mind and just most of it's just having fun and spouting off and just actually truthfully too, because you know, you know, I yeah, stay here, you know, I'm 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 on my own. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah. so I'm looking for, you know, and I've certainly been getting reactions. That is for sure. That's nice. My God. And you know what? A lot of people have been showing a lot of love, but a lot of you out there that have just uh, witnessed all that, you're like, oh man. This guy, I don't know about him anymore. So, you know what I mean? So, no, but you should see that Facebook is like that. You, it's people that write crazy stuff. Like, it's people that go on there and will tell you their entire day, play by play, every step of the way. And then now that you got live and stuff on Facebook, people can show you their day, their whole day, night, and afternoon, all in a span of 12 hours. They can show you right there from their phone broadcast it live to you the world and everybody else you know but that's the good the pros and the cons of the cameras you know having cameras on the phone you know some people use it as um documentation some people use it as lifestyle you know lifestyle they they make life choices off of looking at facebook twitter reddit you know and all these social media sites that's basically they whole living like i I forgot what the girl name was i can't do it i go in spurts man yeah like I can't do it. I, I might go see, nuts. You know, I might go nuts for one day or one evening or one night or something like that. True. Then all of a sudden you won't hear nothing from me for about a week or two. Yeah. If I don't have nothing to say, I'm you not know? gonna go to Facebook and say I'm not. I'm just not. Well, no, I go a week or two because I'm remembering the shenanigans that I wrote, and I'm like, oh my god, people are gonna think I'm out of my mind. Yeah, you think I'm kind of crazy yeah, I'm right now? Nuttier than a fruitcake. But yeah, we see. And like you said, like that's being. Being stagnant like that and how you go on Facebook and write stuff you shouldn't be writing on that <laughs> writing on that damn thing. Like, I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go back and look because you know, I know that there it's like I said, I don't think I crossed any lines and went I, like you know I what? said, it's just it's my mind, it's my brain. I know it's kinda just did. weird stuff. Some of it's like really just inside joke stuff. Like that whole thing that I wrote, it's like a going joke between me and a certain circle of my friends where I say weird things like, hey, you know, it, it doesn't matter because nobody loves you anyway that even hates to love hating me. Mm-hmm. That's right. That, that's like a fucking brain teaser. Yeah. But I tell you what, I, I wrote almost like a whole damn paragraph of it. Yeah. Just totally. Yeah. And I, I'll tell you what, I got a reaction from especially Deva. Hi, Deva. But um, she's like, oh, my God, you gave me a headache. Or yeah. Something like that. Yeah, you, you think she's you like, oh, my God, I can't even think straight now. What the hell did you just write? Yeah, well, you got to think like that. And then yeah. let's give a shout out to Angelica today too. Angelica, you know who you are, sweetie. Big Thanks up. for all your good feedback as well. You've been you've been very enlightening and it's been a pleasure getting to know you better, seriously. Yeah, you sent to the channel too, Miss Angelica. Yeah. I see you over there on Facebook stalking. Uh oh, what? Nah, that's fine. Hold on. You got, see me you. All, you got me all propped up now. I see you on you on E no, I, I, I was just out talking. Oh god. No, like, did I I didn't say anything I didn't say anything bad out in public about Angelica, did I? I don't think. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. You, okay. You, you can see it on your I don't know. You can see no, it on No, no, no. I got nothing bad to say about Angelica. Cool Angelica, she just deserves love. We know what we're talking yeah, about. She cool as hell. She posted up a little something something and I all I said was Angelica. Two words. You're right. You are right. That's it. She so, said she wrote something. I won't say what it was, but yeah. all I said was, "You're right." So y'all, we, going through this pandemic, we just the word of advice before we get up out of here and leave y'all alone. Don't trip if if you got a a solid base. Don't trip on your base. Just go ahead, roll with it until the pandemic is over. If you don't have a base, but you're about to get a base, make sure you solidify a base because if you don't solidify a base. Ain't no telling how long it's we been like. We like it. solidifying with a base of Bud Light. Yes, we solidify with that base. But yeah, y'all, base. You know what I'm saying? Do a little bit of of, of soul searching before you go and jump into a different situation if that's what you're gonna do. For the people who have absolutely nothing right now, um, it's gonna get better. One day, it's gonna get better. We not saying I'm not saying when because I don't know. But everybody is praying that. 
something happened to where a golden nugget of opportunity drops on everybody so we can get the hell out of the situation. We can get back financially straight and everybody can get back to enjoying. We can get back to making fun of people at spring break. We can get back to making fun of tourists, especially down here in Orlando, because I miss kind of making fun of all y'all Brazilian tourists. I love y'all, but y'all are some funny people. Y'all be pulling people when it's time. When y'all be going in them stores, y'all be throwing <laughs> hell bowls to get in stores. And plus, when it's sales, oh, they come in, they really? come in swinging. Yeah, 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 get up yeah. out of my way. I need that $500 TV. you like, I don't, I got three TVs at home. I don't care, you know, but we just want to see people get back to normal and get back to smiling, get back to enjoying themselves. So just through this pandemic, don't trip. We and don't fall. Back. Yeah, because if you do, everybody's going to trample over you because everybody's trying to run and get that prize right now. So make yeah, sure yeah, you stay yeah. on your feet. Yeah. And don't trip out. Don't go crazy. Don't act stupid. You know. Well, I'm trying, Dion. As you know, we talk. It's been like a rough few days for me, but basically it's just my fault, and I got to manage it a little bit better. That's for damn sure. We're going to get that. So We're going to do that, y'all. We want y'all to do that, too. And this, doing this with Dion. It helps big time too because it's yeah. awesome. We can get some of this shit off our mind. Absolutely. And y'all gonna do the same thing. So, there. Are we? Uh oh. Like, subscribe, and highlight us one time, man. Until next time. We love you. We are leaving because it's time to go.